What is Process Advisor? Process Advisor is your guide to process efficiency and automation with Microsoft Power Automate. It is going to help you to analyze and optimize and therefore do a better job in automating your processes. It is going to help you identify hidden bottlenecks and also unlock automation potential that previously you would have not seen. It is truly a great feature from Power Automate that I highly suggest that you check out and start utilizing. Process Advisor key features are task mining and task Task mining if is the ability to record your actions using Microsoft Power Automate desktop, record the different clicks that you do, and then analyze those with Process Advisor. Process mining, on the other hand, is when we get a log of data, an Excel sheet or a CSV file from an application of what has been happening on that application. The user logged in, it clicked there, it did this, and so on. It is also going to provide us with automation recommendation based on the inside that it analyzes from these processes, and it's also going to give us insight in our process processes, giving us the ability to know where users are spending most time, how the process is behaving, what paths is the process taking and where is it taking the most time. We're also going to see this in a live example. But before I want you to be on the same page with me and know a couple of things about Process Advisor, such as how does it work? First of all, it analyzes your recordings or your data across your desktop flows or your cloud flows. It discover common paths and variants and potential efficiency drains. It leverages then this data to pinpoint improvement opportunities. And from this, all of this data, it creates some maps, visual maps, so that you can make and understand your processes much better and clearer. You can identify inefficient tasks and eliminate unnecessary steps. You can standardize processes for improved consistency and quality, automate repetitive tasks, and free up employee time. You can also improve user experience by streamlining workflows, measure and track progress towards process improvement goals. All right, that's enough with slides. Let's dive into Microsoft Power Automate Desktop Process Advisor. To access Process Advisor, you're going to log into your cloud flows. Power Automate. From the home page of Power Automate, you're going to go down in the menu, and if you don't see it pinned right here, you're going to go to More and select Process Mining. There are two components to process mining. One is the app that you're going to download and install on your computer that's going to give you a lot more insight into your processes, and it's also going to give you the ability to create different kinds of reports, connect to Power BI, and so on. Then there is the cloud component, and this is the cloud component. It is going to give you a summary of the different processes. Also, it's going to give you a little bit of information about different processes. If we scroll down the page right here, you're going to get some processes ready for you to start playing around. So if you wanted to start with a process already, all you have to do is click on one of these processes and this process is going to be imported. I have done this for the sample accounts receivable and for the supply chain O2C. Another thing that I suggest that you do if you want to follow along and how we are going to set up a new process to be analyzed is that you go to this beginner training right down here and you go to the exercise file and you download the sample data. This sample data is going to give you the CSV file that is going to be requ required for us to start creating a new process. So let's start. We're going to start by clicking on start and we're going to have two options, process mining and task mining. Since in this example, we are going to be using tabular data and we're going to be importing the data, we're going to be using process mining. Let's name our process. We're going to name it and we're going to import it from a data flow. If we wanted to do a recording, we can click on recording and in the next step, we'll have the ability with Microsoft Power Automate Desktop to record all of the different actions that are required for our process. In this example, we're going to just import the data. Let's click on continue. And from this page, now we have the ability to create and standardize our data in the format that it has to be for Microsoft Power Automate process mining to work. So we downloaded some sample data. Let's upload this file. So we're going to go to upload file. Once the sample data has been connected, you're going to also have to create a connection. Once the data is imported, we have the ability to visualize our data so that we can set it up in a way that we want, meaning what kind of data do we want to track? We want to track the start time of our process, the end time. Do we want to track the invoice value, the resource, or and so on. In this case, everything has been selected for us. So let's click on Next. And in this option, we have the ability to standardize our data. We are right now in step three. There is no 
uh, visual menu, but step three allows you to transform, transform your data with different ways. So if you had, for example, you want to change this from a dot to a comma, this would be the perfect step where you would normalize your data. And after we click next, we are ready to import our information inside of Process Advisor. However, the final step to do is to select what is going to be the case ID, the activity, and the event start. In this example, also the case ID has been labeled for us, so we can select it as case ID. And the activity is also selected as activity name. We're going to select it as activity and the event start. Once we have selected this fundamental information for Process Advisor to work, we can save and import this data inside of Process Advisor and see what kind of visual representation and insight is able to get from this data. It is going to take a couple of minutes for the data to be analyzed. I suggest that in the meantime, you download the process mining app and that you install it on your machine. You're going to connect to the process mining app also with the same account that you're using on Microsoft Cloud Flow. While our report is preparing, let's check out the Power Automate process mining app that we have installed on our computer. It is going to come with no processes. It is going to come with an empty an empty sheet. Okay, we can see that uh, the process that I have just created has appeared right here. So we can check out this process that we have just installed. So it is downloading the latest updates and we're going to see all of the information that has been inserted inside of the process. The first thing that we see is the process map. What is the process map? The process map is a representation of all of the different steps that are taken inside of the process for you to complete the process. So for example, it starts with invoice entry, it checks customer in one part, it takes another part to confirm payment received, and in confirm payment received, then it takes another part right here to refund with standard voucher or to refund with special voucher. 56 cases of this process went to refund with standard voucher, while only nine went to refund with special voucher. We also, if we go down to check customer payment, we see that this process path seems very linear and it goes all the way down to the end of the process, 133 cases. So our process has currently 133 cases. If we click on the right side, we have a couple of different options. The first option is going to allow us to configure the map or the process map that we are visualizing right now. We can change different metrics such as total count, the case count of each case that is inside of our automation. We can see it by time, how much time is being spent on each phase. So for example, from here to here, it takes 3.79 weeks. From here to here, it takes only two weeks. From here to here, it takes one month and so on. Also, we can filter this for total duration, mean duration, maximum duration, and so on. We also have the ability to visualize a little bit better our chart from different, uh, from different zoom perspective and also see all of the different variants. However, there is a better way of visualizing the different variants than on this map right here. I prefer going right here in the menu and clicking on the variants. Why do I like this view so much? Because it maps out all of the different activities. It kind of looks like a per periodic table. However, this is the first activity, the second activity, and so on. So it tells me that variant one of the process, there are 68 cases in here, 51% of the cases, and this is what they do. And I can also see all different kinds of information, such as the time that is being spent, the minimum, the mean, the duration, and so on. And it can truly give me loads and loads of different insight that I can really go and pinpoint where could there be potential issues and delays and bottlenecks inside of my process so that I can go and analyze that part with task mining and create an automation for that. However, if you also wanted, you could use the Copilot, which has some great features. And this Copilot has been trained on your data right here. So you can ask it to do different things, such as, for example, like summarize my process right here. This Copilot is in context of uh, process advisor and especially is in context of the data that you have imported for this process to work. Therefore, it is going to give you relevant information to your process without you having to do uh, 
the analysis. So you could ask it for a general analysis once you have imported the data. So it, it says that it consists of 13 different activities. What are activities? Activities are the different tasks that are being done in the process. It's including all of the different activities and then it says that there is 10 different variants, meaning that this process we are doing it in 10 different ways. Instead of doing it just maybe in one or two ways for certain exceptions, there is 10 different ways that we are doing this process. Once you have finished working on your process, always remember to click on save because it's going to save all of the data and all of the filters and configuration that you have set up in your current session. If you just click on processes and go back to your main configuration, you're going to lose all of the settings that you have inserted. Process Advisor is a great tool from Power Automate and from Microsoft. It has loads of loads of different features that we can go into detail, such as creating our custom business rules, our metrics for different process, creating custom tables, analyzing those tables, analyzing our processes, uh, creating different recordings for our automations to identify where the bottlenecks are. So if you would like to see anything more in detail about Process Advisor, please let me know and I will make sure that I will cover those topics in future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.